Big Gamer Al here. How are you guys doing today? I'm super. Thanks for asking. Hey guys, today I want to give you a quick review and buyer's guide for The Surge on Xbox One, PS4 and PC. And this is an action RPG title from the developers of Lords of the Fallen. They are named Deck 13 and it's being published by Focus Home Interactive. And it's basically just like Lords of the Fallen that it's another Souls clone and it's set this time in a dystopian future. There's a little bit of a Mad Max vibe to it. There are these cybernetically enhanced uh, individuals and they are basically fighting over scrap and attacking you and humanity's kind of fallen by the wayside. And the gameplay is a lot like a Souls game. It is in third person. It is mostly melee combat. You do have some ranged enemies and stuff like that. And through defeating these enemies and exploring the environment, you gain scrap. Now, scrap is used not only to upgrade gear, basically, and implants that you can come across, but it will also level up your person and increase things like your health and your stamina. And there is a stamina meter, just like in a Souls game as well. And fighting the enemies can feel quite similar. Again, you can block, you can dodge around your enemies and use their momentum against them. And it's all about picking weak points and what they call unarmored points on the enemies. And when you die, the scrap that you had is lost. It's dropped on the ground. And when you respawn back at your last save point, not bonfires here, they're med stations, but you basically have to track back to where you died and hope to pick up your scrap without dying. Very, very similar to a Dark Souls there. Graphically, the game is more impressive than I thought it would be. I know this has been published by Focus Home Interactive and they don't always put out the highest budget games. They've done a lot of adventure games, things like Sherlock Holmes titles and stuff like that before. But actually, graphically, it looks quite nice. I wouldn't say it's any much of an improvement over the three-year-old Lords of the Fallen, though, which I thought was quite a nice looking game three years ago. And it is kind of on par with that. There are some very nice CG sequences kind of tying the game together, though. So despite the setting coming across and feeling quite fresh at first, and the fact there is a lot to get your teeth into here, there is a lot of different things to upgrade. You can cut the limbs off of your enemies and take that gear and then put it on yourself and upgrade your rig. There is a lot to get your teeth into, and I do like that, and I, I do like this style of game. I like playing games in this genre where they're not quite a roguelike, but they do punish you quite a lot, and there is a lot of fast, twitch, third-person melee action. So in that way, I, you know, I do enjoy this kind of game, but I do feel like the setting, the characters, the enemies, they get repetitive fairly quickly, and the camera's jerky, the graphics aren't quite up to the level of a Souls game or a Neo and it doesn't seem to be quite as much lore going on. The audio files that I find lying around don't quite draw me in. So it's unfortunately it's a case of a nearly with the surge and currently it's going for like 38 to 40 pounds and in the US it's about 55 to 60 dollars. So yeah you can save a few bucks here and there if you're willing to shop around but this is pretty much a 60 dollar game. And despite the amount of content here and the fact that with its difficulty you will be playing this game for quite a while, I'm not quite sure it's worth it at the moment when you've got a game like Neo out there. So guys, I'm actually going to give this game a 6.5 out of 10. And it's not that I'm not enjoying my time with the game, but there's just in the back of my mind I'm thinking, could I play another run on Neo? Could I play another run on Dark Souls? And this game just doesn't quite live with the big boys in the genre. So despite its depth, and the fact that I like the genre, I will actually say go out, get yourself a copy of Neo if you've got a PlayStation 4. If you don't, track down a copy of Dark Souls 3. The Game of Year Edition just come out. I would probably go there first. If you've already played those games and you like the genre and you're like me, you're probably going to pick this up anyway. All I would say is just give it a couple of weeks, wait for it to drop by 10 or 20 bucks, and then this will seem like a much better deal. Alright guys, thanks for sticking with me. If you want more content like this, if you want me to keep reviewing these games for you, feel free to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you next week. Cheers.